Hello and welcome to WJTS Inform. In this edition, we're going to find out about April being literacy, a financial literacy month and uh, how junior achievement is tying into that. And locally, Martha Bonert is the president of the chairperson, mm -hmm. uh, chairperson mm -hmm. of the local chapter of junior achievement. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And then we also have Theo Boots, who's the executive director for the Southwest Indiana Junior Achievement Organization. Yes. Also known as Jazz win. Jazz win. Okay. Yes. So junior achievement of Southwest Indiana. Yes. Okay. You got right. it. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, Martha, we're going to talk to you about. Uh, tell me a little bit about the local junior achievement organization. Okay. The the local actually includes the whole county. Basically, uh, there has been more participation in junior achievement from the Jasper area, but that's been expanding over the last uh, years or so. Uh, it's a good program. We teach financial literacy, uh, entrepreneurship just a lot about things from kindergarten all the way through high school. And then there's actually the nighttime program where uh, high school students get together and they produce a product and sell it. And that's been kind of a, a mainstay for a lot of years in, in Jasper. Mm -hmm. But now there's more in-school programs that are done, from, as I mentioned, from kindergarten all the way up through high school. Okay, and, and Theo, then you're, you take care of the Southwest Indiana, which includes mm -hmm. what counties? Nine counties in Indiana. So we're all around here in uh, Du Bois and Knox and Spencer and Warwick and Posey, uh, Pike, uh, and then a couple counties in Illinois. Okay, now this is Financial Literacy Awareness Month. Yes. Uh, but really, JA has been doing that all year long, and that's some of the programs you do. Absolutely. And we're gonna, actually going to be celebrating our 50th anniversary in July of this year. So Junior Team in Southwestern Indiana has been around a long time, and our longest chapter has been in Jasper. I think they've been around since the 70s. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. So they're very strong, and like Martha had said, uh, last, I don't know, 10, 15 years, we, they have expanded in uh, the Huntingburg and the Holland mm -hmm. and the Ferdinand area, and they are expanding more as well, too. Now, we may see some of these around, Dollars Make Sense, because yes. that's the program that we're going to talk about that Junior Achievement is, is working on right now. And Martha, can you tell us what, what is happening locally with Dollars Make Sense? Very, thank you very much. This, yes. by the way, is not a real dollar. but uh, <laughs> We can't do that. <laughs> no. That is a federal fence, I think. <laughs> I think yes, so. It is. Uh, yes, the Dollar Make Sense program uh, from, the, from all of the uh, counties that Theo uh, has jurisdiction over, but locally, uh, there will be these dollars in local stores available uh, basically to purchase for a, a dollar okay. and there's going to be great information on there for uh, the parents to the, the go on a website and some information to, to help them teach their kids financial literacy and that's what this is all about and the local stores that are participating in Dubois County mm -hmm. are Circle A, Huck's, Circle S, Denny's, Grandy's, Wendy's, Holiday Foods and Dealers Save a Lot in Jasper. So we're really excited to to uh, p uh, pilot this program and have it here in the area because the dollars that are gleaned from the county stay mm -hmm. in this county and go to the representative or the local uh, uh, mm -hmm. areas, the local schools. So for just a dollar, programs. you can you can help out with mm -hmm. the program, right. or you can buy ten of these, I guess, right. if you want. Absolutely, so yeah. Okay. So it's a dual, right. fold, dual fold. You know, it not only helps the Junior Achievement Program, but it also gives that information to the parents so that they can help. Uh, train and, and involve their kids in financial literacy. Okay. And you'll see, Bill, on the back, there's a URL, URL code. If they have a smartphone or just our website, you can go straight to our website, and there are more tips on the website along with links for additional games and activities and all sorts of things that they can do with their kids and give them ideas from young kids all the way up to, uh, well, to for, older. For dollars make sense, who, who is being focused on here? Is it, is it the kids learning how to, to do better with finances, or is it teaching the parents how to teach the kids? We're actually focusing on the parents with this campaign to let them know how to begin to talk to their kids about financial literacy. And there are everyday teachable moments, and to take advantage of those teachable moments, you know, for example, some, one of our tips, I think, is when you're going to the grocery store with your children, make it fun, have them help you cut out coupons, and if you buy one brand over another brand, if, and if perhaps maybe as an example, generic brand is cheaper than the other brand, how much did you save, and what could you do with those monies that you saved? Do you want to put them back for vacation or... Um, or for college. Well, there's not enough kids saving for college later in life. Well, why is it important that we're teaching young kids this? Why not just wait until they, you know, go to college? Well, unfortunately, research and surveys that we get back, um, one recent one that we just got back is 50% of, I think it was a little bit more than 50% of all high school kids couldn't even 
uh, answer basic questions, economic questions, basic questions about how to balance a checkbook and the difference between credit and debit. And mm -hmm. I, they don't realize how credit can affect them, or bad credit can affect them the rest of their lives, that many employers do credit checks before they hire you. They also do background driving checks. So what you do at a young age can affect you in the world after high school. How, how are you trying to reach parents then? Is it through, through these dollars? That is one way, but we're running, and, and uh, th because of stations like you, mm. we're running a pretty extensive media campaign we're in all of our counties. We're uh, radio and TV and newspaper and print and just trying to get the word that way. So people go, really, you're trying to drive them to your website? Yes. To, to get information, because there's so much information yes, that's there. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, y you know what, it, it's interesting because I, I in my generation, we dealt with money differently. We wrote checks. Mm -hmm. The younger generation, mm -hmm. my kids are using debit cards. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a, it's a different kind of paradigm for us. I think it's probably more, a little more difficult for them to control their money because it's so Absolutely. easy to use. I can attest to mm -hmm. that just right. from the prior banking experience that I've had. Um, <clears throat> every day we would have people come into my fin financial institution and kids and they didn't have a clue what money they had in their account. Mm -hmm. they, they did not keep proper records. And part of this program is to just to teach them how about things like that so that they can, con can control their money and know what money they have and what dollars they have. It just helps the whole, uh, their perspective and their parents' perspective because their parents are gonna feel better when they know that they're, you know, maybe a high school student is, is a little bit more vigilant about their dollars. So. Uh, are you, and you're tying in, uh, obviously, with Old National Bank is mm -hmm. your sponsor of the event. Right. But you're getting, trying to get kids to open accounts at a local bank. Well, that's one mm -hmm. avenue, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And, and that's another thing that for parents to talk to their kids, mm -hmm. you know, about opening up a bank account and why to save and what good things to save for. And I do want to point out, because of, and Martha mentioned earlier, because of our title sponsor, our National Bank, they're covering all of our costs with this. So 100% of the contributions raised by the, for the dollars mm -hmm. will go into wherever the business that they uh, donate to, where JA is in that county. Okay, now, JA... Whenever most people think of JA, I'm sure that they think of the, the projects that they run in the school to run a business. That company that's program. teaches how right. to run the program. Now, I know uh, through my association at Spencer County that mm -hmm. uh, you go into the classroom and are teaching kids not only financial literacy, but uh, government and... And work and readiness mm -hmm. skills mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship skills. Is that, is, is that kind of a change for junior achievement over the many, many years to focus years. more now on teaching? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, go ahead, Martha, if you I want. I can speak to that from local standpoint, yes. As I mentioned, the nighttime program was big in Jasper, you know, in the 70s and 80s and, and a little bit beyond that. Uh, you know, we, I don't know how many different programs, different nighttime, maybe there's seven or eight different uh, programs, different companies. Nighttime companies, thank okay. you. Uh, we're now, uh, we have the one nighttime program. It's doing well. But it's all more focused on the, the from the kindergarten, like I mentioned, through high school. And I can uh, speak to that as well because I just got finished teaching or going in the, as a volunteer in the classroom at Holy Family and, and uh, kindergarten. And it was awesome. And they, we teach the kids about money and about saving and things like that. And I also did the high school senior class a few years ago and or a number of years ago. And, and basically there too. And you, re you don't realize uh, some of the basic things that kids don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully with the Junior Achievement, I think it's done a great job. And the curriculum the Junior Achievement has put together is awesome. Uh, as a volunteer, it's all there for you. We would you know, love to have more volunteers mm -hmm. in our program mm -hmm. as well to go into the schools. From Sandpoint of Jasper, we had about 100 classes. We will have 100 classrooms that we will go into in this school year. So that's pretty awesome. Yes, that's, that's well, great. So you run this on volunteers. The, yeah, the, absolutely. The folks who are going into um, the classes and teaching are business people who are volunteering mm -hmm. their time or retirees who are doing mm -hmm. that as well. Um, but you need dollars because you need to buy materials that are used mm -hmm. in the classroom. Absolutely. And the volunteer component is very important because we want that business and community volunteer to go in and share their experiences. Educators tell me all the time that um, if they talk about it to the kids or parents talk about it, it doesn't mean the same thing as if a business or community person is coming in mm -hmm. and sharing. And many of them share their own personal mistakes that they made younger, which really goes over well, you know, and because mm -hmm. they can relate. We all make mistakes. Um, and then the, I sat in that very same chair that you did, you know, mm -hmm. so many years ago, and I had the same kind of questions and problems and, um, that you did, and, and they, they just bond real well. If someone would like to volunteer, what, do they, what should they do? 
they can contact the Jasmine. It's on the website. Okay. Mm -hmm. Contact me. I mean, you know, we I'm the like you said, the chairperson for the this area of uh, junior achievement. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a good organization to belong to. And as we mentioned, we need volunteers. Of course, you know, we funding is always mm -hmm. an issue. Uh, but uh, and it's fun. I mean, it, I have to say you're a little apprehensive when you go into the classroom, even the even the kindergarten level. You just don't know how it's going <laughs> to they're right. going to react to you. But uh, it is fun, and and the program is put together so well that a little preparation is really all that you mm -hmm. need. So it, it puts you in that program and in that uh, in that classroom, and and it, it goes very well. Okay, and now dollars make sense going on right now. <laughs> Uh, throughout the whole month. Whole These month dollars will be available yes. at, again, the stores? Uh, Circle A, Huck's, Circle S, Denny's, Grandy's, Wendy's, Holiday Foods, and Beeler's Save a Lot in Jasper. So when you just go up to the counter, you just say, I want some dollars, make sense dollars. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. The associate and, and those probably are, will be speaking uh, to them. Hopefully they'll be asking. Hopefully they'll be asking. Would you like to buy But if you want to ask yeah. first, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> yes, and, and those are just the stores in Du Bois County. Mm -hmm. There are stores. We've got about 25 different stores participating with about 115 different locations throughout our 11 counties. Okay, and, and remember, no matter where you are, uh, if you're in Spencer County or Knox County right. or here in Du Bois County, and you'd like to volunteer for JA and go into a classroom and, and teach the kids, they should mm -hmm. give you a con they should contact you. Yes. Okay. And of course, they're always taking contributions as well. Absolutely. Right. It takes three things for JA. It takes um, the school demand, what the school to want us, which we really d have more demand than we're mm -hmm. able to meet. It takes the volunteer to teach it, and it takes the dollars. Okay, so, so we have the school wishing us to come in. Now we're looking for more volunteers and more money to expand in this area. Okay. Thanks, ladies, for coming in. Thanks, Bill. Make sure that you help out with Junior Achievement. And we have had with us Martha Bonert. She is the chairperson for the local uh, Junior Achievement here in Du Bois County, and also Theo Boots. Theo is the executive director for the Junior Achievement of Southwest Indiana. Thank right. you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for watching WJTS Inform. We are local people watching local people.